David Tank Abbott from Pit Fighting against Paul Varlins from Trap Fighting. It'll be Tank Abbott making his way into the ring first. Tank Abbott made quick work of John Matua. You heard from Dr. Istrigo about the update on Matua. Abbott, a man on a mission. He says, I've had actual real life experience using the skills I have, and that's what sets me apart. Not like these guys who think they're tough. Says, I don't know how violent I'm gonna get, but if I'm unscathed going into the finals, there's gonna be some popping. Yeah. <laughs> I think we saw some popping already. Oh, we're his, seeing some popping. His fists have got a little bit of dynamite in them. The polar bear about to enter the octagon and make his long walk from the dressing room area. We're in Casper, Wyoming for almost 75 years, the city known as the oil capital of the Rockies. We're at the Casper Event Center, and Paul Marlin is ready to engage David Tank Abbott in the first semifinal of the UFC 6. Marlins won in a minute five, Tank Abbott in 21 seconds. Well, Jeff Matorich again, what are you thinking of this big guy? After what I saw, I think Abbott, because Warsham got in on Barlin and was hitting him in the head. I don't think Bar Warsham had quite the power that uh, Tank Abbott does in those punches. I don't think he's quick enough, but we'll have to see. I don't know, maybe he'll come up with something else. Right now, let's go to Michael Buffer. <laughs> The first of the semifinal matchups with the winner advancing to the ultimate fighting championship. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, he's the first pit fighter to compete in the octagon with a bare knuckle record of 7 0, 30 years old, 6 feet tall, 265. He won his quarterfinal match. Now advancing to this one, they call him the tank. He is David. And his opponent across the octagon, six feet eight, 300 pounds, 25 years old, advancing from his quarterfinal to this match. An expert in the art of trap fighting, undefeated in bare knuckle matches from the Arctic North of Fairbanks, Alaska, the Polar Bear Paul Barlins. Remember, Barlins had a big cut earlier on. Here's a look at the tail of the tape. Abbott, five years older. Varlins, eight inches taller. Varlins, 20 pounds heavier. Both California natives. It's the tank against the polar bear. John McCarthy assumes the position as referee. You ready? Let's get it off. Look out. Big people. Tank quickly pushes Varlin into the fence. And he's looking for some of that grappling skill. Nice move by Tank. And I have a feeling Tank Abbott's gonna end this fairly quickly. Nice control by Abbott. Varlin throws an elbow, didn't do much damage. Tank's got him up near the fence as Varlin punches back. Abbott again on top. Big left hand by Tank Abbott, another by Abbott. Abbott pounding Mar Marlon's head. Shot to the midsection by Tank Abbott. Marlon's bleeding from the nostrils. Well, they're up against the fence here. It's tough to, for either one of them to move very much. As long as Barlins has his head there, Tank can't really come upright to punch at the head. Tank with the shot to there the midsection. Now to the head. Tank out of trying to finish. Barlins trying to still push him off. 
Hank's got his knee in his face. Rollins bloody in the nostrils. Tank is using that fence as a weapon. He's kneeing Barlin in the head, and he's enjoying doing it here. Look he's, him look up. He's smiling at the crowd. Oh, oh my, a couple big shots to the head by Abbott. And that is it. John McCarthy stopped it. stop it. John McCarthy stopped the bout. Barlin's doesn't want to stop. But McCarthy pulls him off quickly. Oh, is he upset? Judgment call, referee felt it should be stopped. A minute 51. Tank Abbott is into the finals.